I'm going to show you how to change out the adjusters on a Kenmore dishwasher. Um, we had an adjuster that had broken off that tab right there, uh, which I hear is pretty common on these. Happens quite a bit. So we are going to replace these. I already replaced one. I opted to go for the um, upgraded metal version that is less prone to break. And uh, I did one so I could figure it out so it was kind of challenging. The directions that came with it did not um, explain things very good and the pictures were pretty bad. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this one. Um, first of all, there's three clips you're going to have to take off to get the adjuster out. First one is this one here. Second one is that one. And the third one is... i got to find it again. Oh, it's right there. The one right inside there. So we're going to take those off. These two are pretty simple to get off. This one you're going to need a screwdriver for. Um, I just got a small flathead screwdriver. So I'm going to go ahead and get those taken off. Alright, so I forgot how that one came off. I just gotta push this little bit out and then it just slides up, comes off just like that. Pretty simple. And then this one, don't do that, that hurts. Pop the one side in and we didn't break it, not that it really matters. And then I'm gonna pop this out like so. And this cover comes off at that point. And this all comes apart just like that. Alright, and then on the new one, um, my dishwasher came with this style wheel. This is the style wheel it came with, so I need to swap off the other one. For that, um, I found, well, I got more tools outside, but a one-fourth socket will work. Just unscrew it, and you might actually have to, you have to on that time. Uh, the last one, I had to physically hold on to this piece as I'm screwing the wheel. And then they just, this piece here slides into the wheel like that. You got these uh, two notch tabs on here. They go right into the groove. And then your screw goes back in. And we got the correct wheels on there now. So, now I'm going to show you how it goes on there. The direction state to go on uh, the fourth gap in. So we're going to put this one right here then. Uh, first thing first, don't want this together. So we are going to take it apart pending. I can get it apart. Okay, so I was able to slide in there the way it is. I kind of already have it put together. Um, but ideally, you'd have this off of here and then uh, this will just attach like so. So we're not going to be quite to that point yet. We are going to you can find the pieces, install the guides. These are kind of tricky to go on. Uh, this bottom slot here is going to go right on top of there and then the top of that is going to go into this slot up here which you probably can't see on there. So we'll get that lined up and then just pop on just like that. Alright, so now that part is on. We have the, uh, the actual adjusting mechanism. 
and that's just going to slide in this groove here just like so and you're actually going to want that all the way down first before you do that part of it otherwise it's not going to go in there the right way and you got your cover which will just pop on like so there's two screws that are going to go in there that comes with the kit those are going to be a T15 Torx fit So, that is all she wrote. It will now supposedly adjust a certain way. There we go. So you got your adjuster, which in my opinion doesn't really work the greatest, but it does work. And uh, you got a stronger, stronger hole sliding mechanism here. Get rid of these plastic tabs, get a nice, well I guess it's still plastic, but a stronger tab on there. Wheels don't come off like the other ones do. A lot better design overall. Directions are not the greatest, so hopefully this will help someone out. Um, once again, really the only tools you're going to need: flathead screwdriver, a T15 Torx bit, and if you do have to swap all the wheels, a, uh, a one fourth socket with a ratchet or just a driver like this. So that's all we got. And uh, I think installing it should be pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to show that. Alright, for those of you who haven't had one of these end caps off, come off pretty easy. Push down on that, and then you slide off the end. Then you can slide your wheels out, install them, reverse process, slide it back in, and you're good to go. And once you are done, you will have a top rack that will slide out and be nice and secure uh, before with that wheel being broke and all the time they would um, they would come out one side would dip down a lot so now you got a pretty secure rack there's a little bit of movement but it's not much nothing where you'd really notice anything so there you go there's how you install the new upgraded metal racks on a Kenmore dishwasher